Hi, my name's Vero, and welcome to another tip for the day video. Now recently I've been playing the game and I haven't really been building much, so I haven't made many build videos. But I'm going to pick up where I left off, where we were talking about scaling. And in this video I'm going to talk about how we can power anything that's scaled. Using the same wooden pallet technique that we were using to scale things. So as discussed in previous videos, we can scale things using wooden pallets and we can get some pretty good gradations from one quarter of the size of a standard pallet all the way up to three times the size of a pallet in gradations of one quarter. So a quarter, a half, three quarters, a single, one and a quarter, one and a half, etc. all the way up to three. We can make a double, for instance, by scaling the palette until you can just see, it's difficult to zoom in while um, in the build menu, but you can just see those rivets are just showing through on the top of that top palette. And that means that this is exactly double scaled within a pixel or two. Certainly enough for building purposes. So this is a double sized palette and here I've used the same technique but created a double size wire so that I can then scale other things. So for instance what I've done is I've used the normal wire scaling of Starting here, dragging towards where the pallet is, switching back to the pallet, using the scale technique that I was just showing you, such that the rivets just show through and nothing else. And then I wire glitch back to a wire and there we have a wire at double size. And each of these other gradations, you may remember, is created by stacking. So the two quarters is a minimum pallet right down to the smallest possible size, stacked on two, such that when we scale a pallet and that rivet just shows through, Be, there you go, can be a bit tricky sometimes, but that's exactly two of those smaller pallets, and each one of those smaller pallets is a quarter of a standard one, so that's two quarters or a half size pallet. Now, when it comes to power doors, we can power the smallest possible door. So, if I create a small door with the small wire, which I'm, I'll quickly show you. take a door we're going to put it into the cache for a universal adjacency glitch we're going to copy the wire and then we're going to wire glitch and there we have a quarter size power door but if we are using a wire we can power a quarter size power door so we can power the smallest possible door and we can power all the way up to this size with no problem. Now this size, this is um, three times. This is two and three quarters. This is two and a half. And this is two and one quarter. So we can power all the way up to two and a quarter just normally. We can see the power point and we get the green circle. But we can't power the next stage up. Now, what this video is specifically about is how do we get to that power point quickly and easily for any item that has standard power? Now, first of all, what we have here is a staggered alloy floor. So this is the right way up, but I've created this upside down one by placing one here and then 
underneath I am using a wire positioning so I'm starting on this line and I'm going to the exact center of the floor underneath should be about there now on PC you can make it transparent and check it that's pretty good I might actually make it there but that would have been good enough and then I'm going to position a floor upside down underneath the existing floor so we now have a sandwich of two floors if we delete that top one we now have a, a kind of palette for our wires, which is at pretty much the same height. If we say, for instance, position a, a wall, short wall, pretty much the same height as the same wall snapped to this normal way up floor. As you can see, we have a nice little cross there suggesting that they're, they're at the same height as each other. So we have a sandwich um, technique going on here that we turn a floor upside down ready for our building. And that's just so that we can continue building normal things around. So for instance, we could put walls around our um, resized doors. So that wall is now the same position as that. And so we can scale them. And you can see that this is just under three times high. And if we were across here, it would be almost exactly the same as that three times high. So that's basically for the continuity of our build. So I'm going to start off with the simplest example, which is building the three times one, which I've deleted here. And so I want to copy the door and I'm going to position that on this floor in the middle at a normal size. I'm not going to be too precise because you don't have to be. Let's turn off the transparency so that we're playing the same as anybody else that's using a console. So that's going to be pretty close to the middle. And there is our power door. I've dragged the wire from outside to inside, imagining that this is a garage door and this is opening inwards. So I'm always dragging it from the front of the door. Now I'm just going to wire glitch onto here, the same again. And now I'm going to wire glitch onto here, the same again. Three power doors, each of them staggered, wire glitched on. And that should be the power point we need for a triple size. Just by logic, it's three times the size. Everything is the um, three times the dimension. So the distance from the bottom of it to the power and then to the next power and then to the next power will be three times the distance. That might be the correct position, but I don't want to just put a wire there now because if I delete this power door, it will disappear. The wire will go. So I'm going to wire glitch something that's snappable here. In this case, a short timber wall. And then I'm going to snap one next to it, delete that one, and then later on I can position it again and wire glitch it and get a wire in that spot. Now I'm going to delete my power doors. And now I'm going to make a triple size one. So copy the door, put it in cache, copy a wire, position it 
position it exactly. I'm using the little dot in the middle. I could do this and try and position it this way, but I find the dot a lot easier. Pull it to the middle. And that should be about right. I'm going to go into transparent to see how good it is. Yeah, that's pretty good that time. And there's our three time power door. And I'm going to copy this. Glitch our wire, which you'll notice it's tucked right inside and some of these aren't always in logical positions but this will work then we'll connect it across here to something that's already powered and lo and behold it powers the door and shuts it which is you would expect so let's move on to the two and three quarter size now the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to find a one and three quarter size, which would be this one. So that's one, one and a quarter, one and two quarters, one and three quarters. So there'll be this wire here, put this in the cache. One and three quarters, copy the wire. Position it in the middle of our floor. So this is one and three quarters. So if I now position via wire glitching on the inside another one, that's now two and three quarters. So again, this wire point is correct. So again, I'm going to go to a short timber wall. Mark the spot. And now I'm going to position the full size two and three quarter one from here. So we're going to copy a door. Place it in the cache. Copy the wire. Drag the wire to the center. Y glitch our position. Connect it to a PowerPoint. And there again it works. And so we can do exactly the same with the two and a half. We start with one and a half. So we want this wire. Place the door in cache. Copy the wire. Y glitch one. And now this should be our spot. Delete our doors. So now we want a two and a half. Copy the wire. Place it in the middle. Y glitch. Connected to an existing PowerPoint. And there again it works. 
Now this can work on pretty much everything. There are a few edge cases which I'm going to go into in subsequent videos. But for instance, a solar panel, anything that has the PowerPoint looking straight at you, you can glitch three of them. And then if you glitch a three times one on the exact same spot, then that wire point will be the same wire point. And the same holds true for the reactor, the battery, the electromagnetic generator. It also holds true for cuboid rooms. Let's actually demonstrate with a cuboid room. Let's position it for the sake of argument on here. Now we can glitch onto there, glitch onto there. So we now have three all stacked up. Again, we can mark that PowerPoint. Get a cuboid room, put in the cache. Grab the triple size wire. Wire glitch. Connect it to a powered item and it powers the large room. So there you have it, how to power any powered item using the wooden pallet method. Uh, I'm going to go into the edge cases, things like biodomes, which are a little bit trickier, but very similar. And also things like the industrial parts, like mining. But for now, travel well, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now.